hello hello to our happy community hope your day is going positively well um i just wanted to talk just to talk um uh, i i've been finding feathers lately what colors we found we have a black one we have this one and we also have and this is just just recently then we have a red one right here and so i was looking up the meaning of feathers and stuff like that and and how the universe speaks with, to us through so many different you know things and so finding feathers is a good good omen i would say you're ancestors, your loved ones, you know, the other side of the universe is speaking to you, letting you know that, that, that they're here with you, helping you, you know, along your journey. Um, we did get back um, from Corpus, so I have like a sun, I guess if you don't know, you want to say a sun tan or it's going to be pilling. My face is going to be pilling soon. Um, due to the fact that you can already tell it's kind of like already uh, trying to get to that process. Um, it's just a lot. A lot of stuff. You know, just exciting things happening. Um, just keeping our minds focused on the outcome that we desire. Uh, the things that we want uh, to manifest in our lives. And so we give gratitude daily. I think gratitude is a, is a, a must. Gratitude is a must. Um, you know, I've been working on t telling our, my, our children... Trying to teach them how to go to their calm place and stay there, and well, not not stay there, but you know what I mean. Like just go to it when you need to go to it, and I think that's very important, um, especially for a lot of us that don't, for those that don't know how to go to their calm place when someone is upsetting them and in reality no one is upsetting you it's your own thoughts your own feelings your your emotions that's um being set off or like triggered and so it's really just you within yourself that's triggering triggering yourself i mean no one can upset you but besides yourself and so uh you you have to find balance and and peace you know where is where where is it you can visualize you can visualize a place or you know whatever it is that you need to in order to 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 go to that place that you desire your calming place i i, I like to call it calming place or your your peaceful place you know, um, I know that they have these little knickknacks and stuff that say, um, this is my happy place. Like, yes, go to your happy place. Um, no one, don't ever give anyone the power to, to, um, change your, your thoughts and your attitude and your, and your emotions. Like, it's just you don't want to give someone else that power over you you have control and you have the power to to be and to create what it is that you really want As, and and again it's 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 um, a process and it it's this is the work that you put in daily you know, when someone says, well, do you work? Yeah, you work, yeah. You're working every single day at it. And um, it's, a, it's beautiful. 
to see the beautiful transformation, you know, and and while you're in the in the midst of it, and you're and you're just starting, you may not notice things right away, but keep at it, and you you do start to see beautiful things happen for you, for your highest good. And so we just give gratitude for that. I really did enjoy our, oh, so this is, okay, yes. I enjoyed going to the beach so much, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to leave, we extended our, if you want to call it a vacation, but I, we extended it to um, about five days, I'm, we, we usually go and we do about a three day about a three-day vacation or so, you know, every uh, so often. But this time we did five days, and we know Mr. Knight was like, five days, y'all are going to be gone for five days. He did not like that. He was like, no. He wanted us to cut it short, but I was like, no, we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to go. We're going to enjoy every moment, and that's what we did, and I'm so grateful. I didn't let anyone or anything get in the way of us going we went and we enjoyed every bit of it and I also say like if y'all are feeling the tension the weight of the world whatever it may be if you're feeling stressed or worried just go go um, into nature um, to some of your favorite spots out into nature and just really enjoy being out there and just visualize it as as a nice vacation and just enjoy it. Um, I enjoyed it so much that I, I suggest that you all, you know, take that time for yourself and, and go do something really nice for yourself. It was really, really nice. And... Um, there was no complaining on the trip. And if there was, he, this guy ran over a cone. He, it's a big truck. They're working on the roads over here. And he's literally dragging the cone with him right now. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can see it. And it's a big truck right there. Well, anyways. <clears throat> uh, while we was there in, in Corpus Christi, we was... Uh, I don't know, our throats were just kind of messing with us, and uh, my youngest is like, I better not get me sick, but it's like, we're not sick, my dear, we're not sick at all, yeah, our, th our throats might be a little, you know, scratchy and stuff, but uh, we're good, um, you know, what you tell yourself, so it is, so, you know, you don't want to tell yourself that you, you are, because you're not, <laughs> Um, you're very healthy and and uh, vibrant and alluring and magnificent. So we need to keep our vibrations high. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to move this camera. And I've just been really uh, looking out of the four eight principles, the book really good information here. Um, yeah, I think I, I mentioned yes, yesterday I posted a video about um, transformation, the renewing uh, the transformed and renewing of our minds. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, God, thank you. Uh, like I said, once you are determined to have a better life, um, you're determined to make changes in your life and you start to um, 
things start to align with that for you and things will start popping up books um uh certain people places and things to align with that that you are desiring and wanting to go towards and the, I, I oh, dear God, I give gratitude for the renewing of my mind, the mastering of my mind. I'm so grateful that I am a master mind, and um, I am a master of my emotions, and um, every single day I I see um, it getting better and better. So, I've been putting it into practice. I've been noticing a huge, significant difference in my life uh, for the better. And I, you know, also recommend those that are um, overthinkers, um, those that are empaths, those that, you know, just kind of, yes, master, like, master your mind and master your emotions. Um, I know they say let it, let whatever is coming through come through, but don't, um, don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let it stress you out. Just let it come through, and then like move on, you know. And so that way you're not, you're not uh, suppressing them. I guess you could use that. Uh, you, so that way you're not really suppressing them. You're letting them come through, but you're not taking them to like to a place. You're not letting them overtake you. There you go. You, you know, you you don't have to let your thoughts and your emotions overtake you. You can you can change things up. You can uh, let them come through, but then also not stay there in those in that overthinking or those kind of emotions. And I think that was the thing, like, the old me, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to, um, maneuver, I didn't know how to, oh, what word am I looking for? Oh, he's smoking. And that smoke just came over this way. Anyways, I do not like smoke. Um, yes, occasionally I, you know, but not cigarettes. I dislike cigarettes. Um, anyways. Yes. Um, so the old me, I just didn't know how to... Uh, you know how like when you have gifts and you have powers, but you don't know how to uh, to utilize them correctly, or, or you know, or like what is it? What am, what am I looking for? Like a discipline, like uh, being disciplined and 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 working them and and uh, knowing how to work them properly and and all this other stuff. So the old me, I didn't know how to how to handle what I was feeling. I didn't know how to handle what I was um, uh, thinking, and so it was like chaotic. It 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 felt chaotic sometimes in in within side of me, and I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know how to uh, cope with it. I didn't know how to um, uh, utilize it for my best interest, and so. Um, with neuroscience and everything else that's coming along. Well, I mean, it's been there, but, you know, just learning about yourself, know thyself, you know, learning about yourself and um, getting to know everything about you and then how to how to become that alchemist and, and, and uh, change things up and, and uh, create something beautiful out of it. I mean, thank you, dear God. Thank you, universe. I, I appreciate uh, my guardian angels, my ancestors, all those that have a helping hand in this beautiful transformation because, again, 
we don't do it alone. There's so many, you know, the whole universe is conspiring to help you achieve what it is that you're wanting to achieve. You're successful. You you already are successful. You just have to tap in and 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 know, have this inner knowing. And, and but also know that the universe is helping you know everything and everyone is 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 helping for your highest good and so continue to tell yourself that because once you tell yourself that then like you just like you have no enemies there's no enemy inside of you there's no enemy out there you know and so just continue to know that uh, uh, the whole universe is conspiring to help you Um and um just know that your best investment is in yourself get yourself together get you together you know master your mind master your emotions um uh let the ego go you know go ego go and um um continue to be in your heart space you know what i mean because when you realize we're all we're all connected we're all one and so when you treat someone else a certain way it's like you're treating yourself that way and so you want to be mindful you know Uh, you may not have control over how they treat you but you do have control over how you treat them and by the way you treat them is is telling and showing people how you want to also be treated as well and so you just continue to uh, be in your heart space and do what you feel called to do without uh, letting others change you into who they are, you know? And so, again, just doing this daily... Uh, putting this into practice daily. This is your job. This is your work. This is this is this is this is you investing in yourself. Um I know that I didn't want to continue on with um, a chaotic mindset or an overthinker. Um so I wanted balance. I wanted um I needed help. I needed help and I asked for help and I received help and I'm grateful for receiving help um, because I didn't know where to even begin, honestly. And, you know, I went to self-help me books. I also went to prayer. I went to the Bible and all these things are still a great help till this day for me. And so um, there's a lot of beautiful beings on YouTube and other platforms that are there helping people um, get through whatever it is that they're they're going through. I mean, this whole world is here to help each other. And I think that's a beautiful sign, a beautiful, um, an amazing, beautiful and amazing thing to see that we're all helping each other. We all know that we're all, you know, we all have our state, our moments that we go through something and to know that we, even if we don't know each other personally, but we know that, you know, we're here helping each other to get through it because we know how it is, you know, we know we've been there, we've done that, we went through hell and back and so now, now that we're out of hell, we can also help others, you know, find, you know, their light as well as shining our light upon them and just kind of be of help to one another and so I think that's why it's important to um, give back to uh, the community because the community whether you see it or not is helping you to achieve something as well and so you know when the when the universe helps you to achieve and 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 to be a a success which you already are but but you want to make sure you give back is basically what i'm saying give back do your part into also 
helping others uh, in their achievement and in their goals and, and stuff like that as well. Uh, that's why it's great to have your channel and so that way you can reach those that need to hear the message or need to hear that specific thing that you have for that day. I mean, you'd be surprised. Um, you, uh, you may think that it's insignificant, but it's 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 it could be a big thing for someone else. Just to see your smile, just to hear "I love you," just to just to get a compliment from you. Uh, you could change someone's whole day around. So you are uh, you have a purpose, and you have. Um, you have um, you are needed here in this you know in this time and space in this in this uh, universe and so we just give gratitude continue to give gratitude every day every day even just giving gratitude can can transform your 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 whole world um, I was every day I'm I'm, I'm putting and instilling things into my my children and one of the things that I want them to realize is just put your focus on things that make you happy put your focus on things that make you feel good if something isn't um, making you feel a certain way then you have the power inside of you to change it up you know um, I have my youngest one and she's always talking about how how we are, uh, we, we are, I guess her trigger, you know what I mean? Like we trigger her, we, we end up, you know, and I'm like, no, we don't trigger you. You trigger yourself. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're talking, we're just talking and you're getting upset. Like that's you. That's a you thing. That's not a us thing. Like we're not, we're not. Uh, deliberately fucking picking at you we're not deliberately fucking saying things to to upset you no you're getting upset on your own terms and conditions you know you need to um, go within and figure out what's going on and see if you can change that up and uh, start naming some things that you're grateful for because uh, apparently you're focused on things you're focusing on stuff that's upsetting you instead of focusing on stuff that's that's exciting you and making you feel good and making you happy. So focus more on those things and um, you can transform it. Uh, you can become that alchemist and, and, and create something better for yourself uh, because, you know, we don't really understand what's going on inside of you. Um, but you, you know, you can go within and, and try to figure it out, but also change it up as well. And so um, uh, don't point out there don't point out outside of yourself and saying oh that's the cause that's the reason that's this and this and that no point inside no I have the power to change it up I have the power to feel the way I want to feel I have the power to think what I want to think no one or anything can make me think anything other than like happy thoughts and and happy feelings and so uh uh when a negative thought comes in, you have the power to stop it in its tracks as well. Say, nope, not today. I'm not, you know, my my focus is going to be on good and, and, and great things. I'm not thinking the, this way today. And so you can stop it. When you when you're you're aware and, and you're 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 getting to know yourself, you can stop it in its tracks and you can change it up right away. Um Especially when you start to become aware of, of, of what's happening. And so you do have the power to do so. And um, I just love you all. And I hope that you'll have an amazing and wonderful day. Uh, you deserve it. And uh, make sure to um, get out into nature. And just do something you really love to do. Do something you really love. Uh again we went to Corpus I loved every bit of it I didn't even want to leave honestly and uh, we, we did a lot of stuff in the water we went shopping here and there but besides that it was really just connecting with uh, our earth mother and just 
really giving her love and gratitude and appreciation and just connecting and becoming one with with her and so that's that was my thing that I did while I was out there but I do that every day but it was especially something I did that day I was just really taking her in and her taking me in and just really enjoying each other and uh, I really enjoyed every moment of it so I suggest I would recommend you all do the same so that way you can just uh, get grounded and and become one with 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 our earth mother and just really give gratitude for all that is i love you all have an amazing wonderful day